We all want to save money and build money for our business. Where's the money? Show me the money! But understand something. You need to spend money in order to make money. One of the most important things that we need to do is get a sample. A sample. Some people say, well, this looks good. They'll take the advice of the supplier. It's like, oh, ours is better than everybody else. And you don't get a sample and you take their word for it. And it turns out that it breaks. Oh, no. Why? Why? Because it really was not a quality product. This is extremely important. Important, but negotiate. Remember, everything's negotiable. I get samples from two different suppliers, not just one, two. I break down all my suppliers. I start with 30 and I wheedle it all the way down. People who won't answer me, may, I mean, they may have a good product, but that just tells me how they're going to do business with me. I'll get one from each supplier and then I'm going to go on to Amazon. I'm going to click on the top revenue maker and I'm going to look at his product and say, wow, why is he making so much money? What's so good about his product? I'm going to order a sample from him and I'm going to compare it to the ones I'm getting from the supplier. Not Nine times out of 10, I'm going to find their supplier because it's going to match perfectly and it's going to be the same quality. And this is good for me. First thing you want to test is durability and quality. If your quality is poor, it's going to reflect really bad on your stores. When we're providing a good quality sound product, can we add something just a little bit different in there? Just a little bit. Give them some extra value, but keep it at the same price. So this is what we call bundling. When we bundle something, we're looking for something that costs like less than a dollar. One dollar. On our listing, we have the product just like everybody else. And we have a little something extra. And when you can see this in there, it's giving value. When I get samples, I test them. Oh my gosh, I test them. I have a solar shower. So I'm going to take this outside. I'm going to fill it up to the max. Five pounds is what it's supposed to hold. I'm going to hang it in the sun and I'm going to make sure that this gets warm. You know, I want to make sure that this is a quality product that I'm getting from a supplier. So I'm going to test it. And then sometimes I give products to my grandkids to see if they're going to break it. And this is another brand name I have. This is a pop-up tent and it's supposed to go with the shower. But when I open this, I'm trying to hold on to it. It's trying to open up on me. Now I could have little kids next to me. What if this thing pops and it hits one of them in the face? I'm not happy with that. Not happy. I'm really unhappy with that. And then when I do open it and set it up, I have a hard time getting it back to this. If I'm having such a hard time, my customers are going to have a hard time. To me, that's not good. This is extremely important. So test your samples. Also, get your brand name put on it. If you have a brand name that you've chosen, have them put it on it. It may cost a little bit more, but by spending that extra money, you're actually saving money in the end. Now, if I decide to, to sell this one now, what I can do is I can take photographs of it and I can have photographs here made of it by a professional and they can go for my listing. Photographs are the most important thing about your listing. Don't ever forget that. Now, the third thing I want to talk about with your samples is we go and investigate other people who are selling. We want to look and see what they're selling. What's that? What can I do better? I want to look at their reviews. I'm going to start reading. Everybody seems to be complaining about the same thing. I just typed in yoga strap. Okay, look at all the different types of yoga strap. And you have some that are a different color, some that are in a bunch of them. But this guy just has a single one. He's selling for $8.99. And I look at this one for $8.87, which is selling for, for less. This adds value. So we're going to read the reviews. And, and he's obviously found that a lot of the reviews are saying, how do I use this? And so he came along with a solution. And the solution is going to get him a lot of reviews and a lot of sales. So these are critical things of why we want to get samples. I would not recommend trying to sell something without a sample. So please go out and get them, test them, run them through the ringer, do what you got to do. And I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you on the next one when we're going to be talking about some a little bit of brand registry. And this is fun.